Okay, guys, now we move on. And this is the last passage, passage three, the future of work. In this passage, they're going to tell us about the future of work. Future of work means the jobs people do, what will happen to that in the future. The future of work, that is the title. Now, please come to questions. <clears throat> 27 to 30. What type of question is that? 27 to 30. We call it multiple choice questions. 27 to 30, multiple choice questions. Write the correct letter in boxes. Question number 27. The first paragraph tells us about. Now, listen, for multiple choice questions, you will not read the options first. Deal with them like you deal with a uh, list of headings, right? The first paragraph tells us about. Now, first of all, we will go to first paragraph, skim read first paragraph and find out what is it that the first paragraph tells us about. Then we come back and go through the options and the right option is going to click us. So let's go back. First paragraph. I'm reading it. Please follow me. Future of work. First paragraph. According to a leading business consultancy, 3 to 14% of the global workforce will need to switch to a different occupation within the next 10 to 15 years. What does it tell us about? 11, 3 to 14% of the occupations, they have to switch to a new occupation. Means their occupations will be finished. Right? Three, uh, 10 to 15 years and all workers will need to adapt as their occupations evolve alongside increasingly capable machines. So what are they telling us about? Many people will switch their jobs. For example, if they have accounting software, then there is no job for accountants. Right? So they tell us 3 to 14% of global workforce, they will have to shift or change their occupations within the next 10 to 15 years. Now please come back. Tell me which option matches with that. Option A, kinds of jobs that will be most affected by the growth of artificial intelligence. Yes or no? No. Let's leave op option B. Come to option C. Proportion of the world's labor force who will have jobs in artificial intelligence in the future. No. Option D, difference between ways that embodied and disembodied Artificial intelligence will impact on workers. No, not at all. It's option B, extent to which artificial intelligence. If you read this paragraph further, you will find they're talking about AI, automation or embodied artificial intelligence. So the extent to which AI will alter the nature of the work that people do, right? The extent, what is the word for extent? 3 to 14 percent of global workforce that is for extent AI will alter what is the word for alter yes yeah, switch to a different occupation they have to switch or change adapt the word adapt is for that okay so for question number 27 B is the right answer okay you can practice again go back to paragraph read the options and all that question number 28 According to the second paragraph, now in, uh, in multiple choice, sometimes they tell us about the paragraphs clearly. According to the second paragraph, what is Stella Pekidi's view of the knowledge economy? Now, knowledge economy is in inverted commas. So, knowledge economy is a terminology and you need to look for Stella. And they mention second paragraph. So, let's go back. Can you find second paragraph? And the word knowledge economy, okay, I'm reading it from the beginning. Dr. Stella from Cambridge Judge Business School believes that some of the most fundamental changes are happening as a result of algorithmication. Algorithmication is again the same thing like uh, artificial intelligence. You know, sometimes on Facebook, on YouTube, you watch one video. They suggest you the same videos. By mistake, you watch one of my videos, they will show you many of the videos, okay? Yeah. So, uh, so uh, this, that is what they call algorithmication of jobs that are dependent on data 
rather than on production. Focus this thing. I'm reading this line again. Believes that some of the most fundamental changes are happening as a result of algorithmication of jobs that are dependent on data rather than on production. The so-called knowledge economy. Now, what is so-called knowledge economy? That fundamental changes are happening as a result of algorithmication of jobs that are dependent on data rather than production. So let's go back. According to second paragraph, what is Stella Pekiri's view of knowledge economy? Let's read the next line also. Uh, algorithms are capable of learning from data to undertake tasks that previously needed human judgment, such as reading legal contracts, analyzing medical scans, and gathering. So these algorithms are capable of learning from data. Let's see now. Please go through the options. It. It means knowledge economy. Now be clear about it. It means knowledge economy. Knowledge economy means that they are using artificial intelligence to read different things. So. It is having an influence on the number of jobs available. Yes or no? They didn't mention number of jobs available. Uh, by the way, the best way to deal with multiple choice is elimination. Cross the wrong options. Yeah. A cannot be the answer. B. It is changing people's attitude towards their occupation. No. Now we are left with two more. 50-50. C. It is the main reason why the production sector is declining. They, did, they talked about production, but they did not mention declining. Try to understand that. They did not mention declining. Now, if ABC is not the right answer, then the right answer is D. It is a key factor driving current developments in the workplace. Right? Now, let's go back. The so-called knowledge economy. Algorithms are capable of learning from data to undertake tasks that previously needed human judgment. So, algorithms are capable of learning from data. This is what they use as key factor. Let's go on. Question number 29. What did Pekidi observe at the telecommunication company? Now, we look for telecommunication company. What did Pekidi observe at telecommunication company? Where do you find? One, two, three, four, fifth paragraph, and there we have telecommunication company. Can you find telecommunication company in any, any other paragraph also? Just try. No? No, it's only here. Good. So the question is, what did Pekidi observe? Her observation about telecommunication company. Let's read it, please. Another issue is the extent. I'm reading this fifth paragraph. One, two, three, four, five. Another issue is the extent to which the tele uh, technology influences or even controls the workforce for over two years. Pekidi monitored. Monitored means observed. Important point. A telecommunication company, inverted commas. The way telecoms salespeople work is through personal and frequent contact with clients. Now, this is what she observed that the way telecom people work through personal and frequent contact with their clients using the benefit of experience to assess a situation and reach a decision. This is what she observed. However, the company had started using algorithm that defined when account managers should contact certain customers by which kind of campaigns and what to offer them. So she observed that. Now let's come back. What did Pekidi observe? Option A, staff disagreeing with the recommendations of AI. No, cross it. B, staff feeling resentful. Resentful means angry. Staff feeling angry, resentful about the intrusion of AI. No. So A and B, they are not at all. Some options are no, some options are not at all. C. Staff making sure that AI produces the results that they want. Maybe. Let's read option D. Staff allowing AI to carry out tasks they ought to do themselves. No, not at all. So the right answer is option C. Staff 
making sure that AI produces the results that they want. Now, please come back. However, the company had started using algorithm that defined when account managers should contact. Now, when account managers should contact certain customers about which kind of campaigns and what to offer them. So this is actually staff making sure that AI produces the results that they want. All right, let's go on. Question number 30. In his recent published research, Evan Megage, find the word Evan Megage. Okay, uh, we got this word Evan Megage in fourth paragraph. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we got it here. Evan Megage. So let's read. And by the way, can you see the next fifth paragraph? His recently published research. So that means they talk about him in the next paragraph also. Right? And then the second last paragraph, again, he adds. So how many paragraphs? Three paragraphs. Now, what's the question? In his recently published research, now see, we are specific. Uh, the clue word is Evan Megage, but we are just going to read about his recently published research. Which paragraph is that? It's third last paragraph. Clear? So you don't need to go anywhere. You will just come to this point. His recently published research answers the question of whether automation, AI, and robotics will mean a jobless future by looking at the causes of unemployment History is clear that change can mean, uh, can mean redundancies, redundance when people become jobless. But social policies can tackle this through retaining and redeployment. Social policies can, like politicians can make some policies to retain the staff and to redeploy. Like if you are an accountant, they have accounting software, they will give you another job in the company. That's what they are talking about. Now please come to options. Option A, challenges the idea that redundancy is a negative thing. They talked about redundancy, but they did not mention it as a negative thing. So A is not the answer. B, shows the profound effect of mass unemployment on society. They talked about unemployment, but effect on society is not mentioned. Option C, highlights some differences between past and future job losses. No. They didn't mention past and future job losses. Option D, illustrates how changes in the job market can be successfully handled. Now, what is successfully handled? Exactly. They mentioned it here, but social policies can tackle this. Tackle means successfully handle through retaining and redeployment. For question number 30, D is the right answer. Clear?